be in the room, but clearly that's not going to make any difference. Um, before we begin the Just Cars, I've got some uh, announcement type stuff. Those of you who are interested in the performance run, um, it seems that most of the people who are interested are staying at the Novotel. So it will be starting at 7.15 from the Novotel, and it will be Andrew wearing, Andrew? wearing a blue per a Perfect Dashboard t-shirt will be running it. If you're staying here and want to go on the run, um, meet in the lobby here, and then you have to make your own way there, probably with an Uber. Uh, it would be the easiest way. Um, uh, okay, so it's three and a half kilometers, so maybe you don't want to add that, but I'm told that the route that they're gonna take is gonna give you a really great view of the city. Um, so if you're still tempted, I can see Ulrika's looking excited for going. <laughs> So uh, we go, we go to that, that's the, the performance run in the morning. Tomorrow afternoon, there is the opportunity uh, to do the Joomla administration certification ex exam, uh, whatever. Um, it will be at uh, 1445 and you need to register in advance uh, for it by email. And if you go to the JM Beyond website, uh, there is uh, a news, art news article, and on the news article, it has the email address for Richard to, to do the registration. Oh, he's there. So, but I don't, Richard, do you want everybody to register by email or just to speak to you? Okay, so Richard over there is the person you need to speak to if you want to do the exam. Um, the exam does cost money. Um, we use the McDonald Index. Um, if you don't know what the McDonald's Index is, it's from a, a, a British financial magazine and they do a survey of every country in the world and find out how much the McDonald is and it gives a ratio and that's for the Big Mac Index. We'll do it. And the good thing about it is apparently McDonald's is really cheap here in Poland. Uh, so because of that, the price for the exam here is 35 US dollars, which uh, I've no idea what that is in Zloty or Euros. I, I only know in pounds. It's about half the price that it would be if you do the exam at Jumma Day UK. So, now that I've got all that out of the way. So, before I start the, uh, the Joscars, um, I just wanted to share something that I discovered um, the night before I arrived. Um, my family is originally from Poland. Um, they left Poland in 1891, uh, so quite a long time ago, and they made the trip to England. Um, and they're from a town that's called Simiatic. And apologies to the Poles if I'm pronouncing it wrongly, that's how my family would pronounced it. So I'm right, you're wrong. Um, so I wasn't sure if it was still a village that existed now. Um, Wikipedia uh, said that it, at the time my gr grandparents left, it only had 15,000 people. 75% uh, were Jews and combination of leaving in the 1890s and the Holocaust, there were no Jews left in that place. So I wasn't sure if the village still exists. Um, this is where it is. It's right on, pretty close to the border with with Belarusia, um, except when my grandmother lived there, she always said one week we were in Poland and one week we were in Russia. I thought that was a family story, uh, Tell I checked Wikipedia and apparently in the 1880s to 1890s, Russia and Poland had a constant battle on that part of the border and it did change on a weekly basis. So not every family tradition, in, in my, uh, family story in my family is a lie. Um, <laughs> but, I kind of, so I wanted to see more, so I go into Google and I found the Wikipedia thing, and of course there was a second link on Google to simiatic.eu. And I was like looking, it was quite interesting, and I kind of looked, saw in the top, in the top it's a bit faded out in here, that there was a, a British flag as well as the Polish flag. So I clicked on that to see the website in English, and every single page said no translation available yet. <laughs> Which I thought was kind of interesting, because why would you bother to have put the code there? So, being the geek that I am, I did view source, and what did I find? It's Joomla. 
So my family may have left Simjetic, but maybe something that I've been involved in still has a connection. So tonight is the Joskars. The Joskars is, is it our eighth year now? Yeah, this is the eighth time we've run it. Um, when we first came up with the idea of the Joskars, it was a bit of a joke. Just a bit of fun, something to do in the evening. Gradually over time, in some ways, it has become one of the most controversial aspects of uh, Jay and Beyond. It's something that a lot of people really enjoy. It's a lot of something that some people have been writing some really big blog posts every year about it. So it's really great to see you back here again, class. Uh, I know how much you enjoy it. Um, so what I'm going to do, the, every, for those of you who don't know, the three, the, in each category, you, nominated, you voted for three, one of three people. Those three were selected by a jury who you'll meet later from all the nominations that we received. So if you want to tell me afterwards that why wasn't this one on the list, they weren't nominated or they weren't shortlisted. So if you've got a problem with it, remember, next year, short vote and nominate them yourself. So the very first award, um, I've changed the order slightly to the way you voted. The very first award is for the best Joomla service. And this year we have three nominations, uh, My Joomla, SiteGround, and Watchfully. And I'm going to ask if you could press that button to reveal the winner. Uh, so the winner is uh, my Joomla, and unfortunately Phil can't be here. He's, I think right now he was up a very large uh, fairground ride with his daughter. So um, I will make sure this gets back to him. So congratulations, Phil, and my Joomla. The next one, uh, Joomla template systems. And there were three nominees, uh, sorry, three shortlisted. Jumshaper Helix, T3 Framework, and Utheme, and Remco. Can you press the button to reveal? <laughs> and there is someone here from Jumshaper. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where? Oh. 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 Okay, so we'll come back to it, and if, if you see him walking late, Shout and it will go backwards. So, and now the next one is one of the most hotly competitive ones is the free Joomla add ons. Uh, we have Akiba Backup, JCE, and for the first time, I believe, a new entry in the free Joomla add ons category, EFSEO. And the winner. Press the button. <laughs> I'm out of range. <laughs> okay, we'll, do, we'll announce that one later. No. And the winner is, I really am out of range. <laughs> no? I am pressing the keyboards. Yeah. <laughs> and the winner is Congratulations, Nicholas. Surprise. And the next category 
is for best product support. And the nominees are Akiba, ACL Manager, and Peter Van Westen for Regular Labs. And the winner, hopefully this will work this time and not break it. Sarah, can you press the... Well done. So you didn't think you'd do that, did you? Yeah. Okay, so the next one is... Ah, it's lost the internet connection, that's why. Uh, the Wi-Fi's gone down. I'm connected to the Wi-Fi, but I've got no internet. No, let me try the, BA, the BW Premier one. Still downloading, but... It's all right. The next category is the commercial Joomla add-ons, and the shortlist was ACY Mailing Enterprise, Admin Tools Pro, and J2 Store. And I'm not going to go a long way this time. <laughs> this one. There you are. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, the next category is the bug junkie. And apparently the nominees are me, uh, George, and Robert. And... Oh, are you kidding? Oh! <laughs> You press the wrong button. <laughs> you press the wrong button. It's me. <laughs> so I think for a nine month year, I'm quite happy with that. So thank you very much. Okay, moving on. Uh, the communications junkie. Uh, there are three nominations. Uh, Alison. Radek and Sandra and Robert, that button. <laughs> Did it this time? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Makes sense, you were tweeting. Congratulations. Thank you very much. There you are. Yes, there's one slide out of order. So I'm missing a slide. I'm going to go back to that one. I'll, yeah, ah, the document, not this screen, although some of the names are the same. Uh, the nominations for Documentation Junkie were Astrid, Sandra, and Marc Antoine. And I think that you all saw that Sandra. Is she gone? Oh. Ah, uh, Martin. Martin. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Sandra's 
not here right now, um, but she wanted um, us to know that she wants to dedicate this to Martin Mandag. No, yeah, no. no. Martin. Yeah, yeah I say I've got the right name. I got the right name. So you're going to give that to pass that on. Great. Uh, next we have translation junkie, uh, which is Marc Antoine, Mike, and Sandra. Who wants to push the button? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and unfortunately, Marc Antoine decided that life on a Caribbean island was far more exciting than coming to Krakow. So again, you're going to pass this one on and make sure that it gets to Marc Antoine. Uh, now, uh, the website categories. Uh, the first is for the corporate websites. And the three shortlists were michaelphelps.com, Nintendo SE, and Peugeot.com. And that button. Is there anyone here from Joomla Profs? I don't think. No, so it's Joomla Profs, uh, .se that won, so we will make sure that they uh, get the award sent to them. Okay. Uh, the, the next is the award for the non corporate website. Uh, the first one is NPO3FM, uh, Meteor.de, and WASSP.co.uk, and The winner is so Andy, put your beer down. There you are. Congratulations. So just a few, a few. Uh, Andy lives not far from where I am in the north of England. Um, he keeps inviting me out for drinks with his friends. Twice now we've been out for drinks, I have to get the train home, and twice now I've fallen asleep on the train. <laughs> and the next stop is one hour away. <laughs> and just before Christmas it was the last train and I spent three hours on a cold York railway station. <laughs> Thank you for the sympathy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so now we're on the final two awards, uh, the, which are the special awards, which were decided by the jury. Um, there were two. There are two different awards. Uh, the first one is for the innovation of the year, and the second one is for personal achievement in Joomla for the year. And I'm going to invite everybody who was on the jury to come up on stage, and then I understand one of you is going to announce who the winner is. Ah. <laughs> whichever, whichever way you want the hand got. I, I, I didn't put it on a slide, so. Hello, everyone. Oh, sorry. No. Hmm. Wait. Wait. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Okay. 
So it's time for the Innovation World Award of the year 2017. Um, many different people from different countries gathered up to make a decision. We're from Netherlands, Germany, Greece, and I don't know if I'm forgetting. Poland, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and Sweden, so it's multicultural. And uh, one of the greatest problems we had is translating Joomla. And uh, we decided to give the Innovation Award of the Year to the new feature that uh, is implemented in the version 3.7, which uh, makes association even easier. I haven't used it yet. <laughs> well, I just read about it. The guys suggested it, and it seems great. So, um, I, th I think as um, as Robert was the release lead for 3.7, and if no one wants, he wrote, it, I he can wrote take a it. few lines of the code. You know, no, he <laughs> <laughs> So um, I will pass it to the guy from the Google Summer of Code project. So I really made it a bit nicer, uh, but I will pass it to him and uh, thank you. Do you, do you remember his name? Okay. Wait, 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 hold on, wait. Just for the benefit of the video, because you could say the guy's name. Uh, the guy name is João Reis Santos. He's from Port, uh, Portugal. Uh, po po uh, Portugal. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> and I'll try to be fast. And um, this will be very fast. And um, imagine a person. No, imagine a year 2005. Okay. And imagine that you would to translate your Joomla for your country and you would love to translate it for your language and imagine that you have no Google translator and you don't know English and imagine that you've got only a book that? so I want you to meet Stefan Vajda it is a person who creates community in Poland and it is a father of Joomla community in Poland but the translator of Joomla is not the end of the story because I have some more. Two and a half thousand articles in Polish version of Joomla documentation, 600 his own descriptions, 100 translated Joomla extensions, uh, and he opened the world for Joomla community. Congratulations. And can we have a, a big thank you as well to our jury who made the shortlist and made the decisions. Where it was or? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, That is the end of the Joskas this year. It was quite short. Um, tomorrow night, we have something very different um, and, and very new. Uh, they had approval at some point. Yes, they're old pictures. Um, so uh, tomorrow night, we have something very different. Uh, but before that, tonight, the rest of the evening, um, the, please, uh, out to the, fr the front, uh, front the bar area, and there is beer. I guess if somebody wants a coffee, there might be a coffee as well. Uh, but enjoy the rest of the evening. And for those of you who are going to go running, don't forget, 7 o'clock from here, get an Uber to the Novotel, or 7.15 from the Novotel. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you very much.